Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will be getting started with how to use Danip. So I will show you a very short demo here. So I was going through my LinkedIn profile and the update. So I saw uh, one very good user who has tried to uh, build some awesome visualizations using Danib and Microsoft Power BI. So his profile is Ying Fu. He is business intelligence specialist from Netherlands. And I recommend that uh, if you are on LinkedIn, you can definitely add him for very much valuable content on visualizations. Website where all the data related to China new migrants is there. And uh, it shows you and this data is from growth in population of Chinese in each country from 2010 to 2020. So uh, this is basically a data storytelling visualization. Uh, very awesome. Uh, the data source is UN Department of Economics and Social Affairs. So it came in my mind that uh, I could also search about the Pakistani migrates uh, data. After finding on Google, I came to this PDF file. Uh, which is on February 2024 published based on Pakistan immigration trends and insights where you can see there is a data um, migrant st stocks in thousands to different uh, regions and countries and then we have another table here missing skilled workers destinations out migration from Pakistan to various countries from 1971 to 2023 and this is in thousands okay so this was particular data and uh, in this particular pdf document uh, uh, they have come up with uh, a traditional pie chart as you can see so there are a lot of people uh, or the experts who tells you that uh, this is one of the most basic and traditional chart for this kind of a data set and if so and it, it creates a lot of confusion as well for us to understand basically all right so what i did is i tried very new to the exploration of uh, Danib. Danib is basically declarative visualization in Power BI. Uh, this this particular Danib is being created by one of the uh, MVP. And uh, if you are very new, you can go and find uh, Dan how to get start with Danib, where you can see uh, if you are using Microsoft Power BI and you want to create some awesome visualizations by your own, um, you can start with it. Alright, so this is particular a preview of this article on Danib. Okay, so you can go ahead and explore what more option Danib can give you to make some awesome kind of visualizations. Particular, if you want to download uh, this particular road table globe, you can download the Power BI file and you can get start uh, replacing your own data. And so if I go to the license. So it says that permission is hereby granted free of charge to any person obtaining a copy of the software and associated documentation file, the software to deal in the software without restriction, including without limitation, the rights to use, copy, modify, merge, publish, distribute, sublicense or sell copies of the software. So there is a permission from uh, the user. Okay. I, I was trying to experiment this Danib in, in Microsoft Power BI desktop. So what I did so far is that how to highlight a different uh, country and how to change the color because if you if you go to the website, you will find that China is basically uh, is, is on uh, the main point and how that migrates uh, into different countries, right? So here I have made the Pakistan as the, as the central point here. And let's say if I go to Japan, then again come to Pakistan. So this is a good visualization. So I was exploring how to uh, do some modification in coding and how to get start with it. So you, so you can click on this three dots, which is more option and click on add it. And from here you can see the language. So if I go back to my report and when I hover my cursor to Pakistan, you can see a tooltip here basically right so this is a tooltip which is actually made in Danip so I'll let me go to edit again and here you can see tooltip and this is the language which is being written. so you can customize as your own and similarly there is a very big script to it so you can do 
if you understand uh, some different programming coding language so you definitely be understanding how to do some certain small changes to it but definitely you need to learn that there is some fields likewise points okay and uh, the the and the country which is highlighted is basically based on multi polygon okay uh, all those polygon are in gray color or but those so i play with the script and try to change some colors and make the pakistan as a central central point and in the coming videos i will be trying to do more and try to make some detailed uh, videos as well for danip so this is how you can get started